We do have news just into our newsroom that actor and producer Alec Baldwin and the armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed will be charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter. Um, and Vaughn, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Um, that, of course, being big news. No, Assistant it's okay. director David Halls signing a plea agreement for the charge of negligent use of a deadly weapon. No charges will be filed um, for the director, Joel Souza. So, Vaughn, just um, in, in these initial reactions, huge news here. Alec Baldwin has already settled, right. he, he and other producers of the film, with uh, the widower, the family of Helena Hutchins. But uh, big news here in terms of the criminal aspect now. Right. And in the case of Alec Baldwin here, Alec Baldwin has consistently denied that he pulled the trigger of that Colt 45 here. But that FBI forensics team, when they did an investigation of that firearm, they say that there was no way possible that the functioning of that gun could have fired without him pulling the trigger. As for uh, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, she was the armor in this case. And there were actual countering lawsuits between Baldwin and between the likes of Gutierrez Reed. Hannah Gutierrez Reed was the individual who put the ammunition inside of that firearm. Now, Gutierrez Reed said to her defense that there should have been no live ammunition on the set of Rust. And that is where she filed the lawsuit against the likes of the ammunition supplier, who uh, she said wrongfully sent live ammunition. That is still an outstanding question here at play. But what the district attorney is now doing is bringing involuntary manslaughter charges against Gutierrez Reed, who is denied knowingly putting in live ammunition into that firearm. That firearm was then transferred from Hannah Gutierrez Reed to the first assistant director, Dave Halls, who, per the district attorney, reached a plea agreement. Dave Halls was the individual who handed that firearm to Alec Baldwin on the set. And when he did so, he yelled out on set that it was cold, meaning there was no live ammunition. That is where you have seen in these counter lawsuits between these individuals here uh, a discrepancy over the level of negligence and who ultimately bared responsibility. Everybody involved here has agreed that this was a tragedy, that it was a mistake. Helena Hutchins, as a result, though, is dead. She was the lead, uh, the director of photography. She was the cinematographer here. She was shot and killed by that bullet, uh, uh, as well as the director here, uh, who that one bullet, Joel Souza, it, once it passed through, Helena Hutchins then struck Joel Souza into the shoulder. Uh, this is a tragic play here, and now one that ultimately it'll be up to the courts to determine the level of guilt uh, that these individuals incur. It was Matt Hutchins, who is the husband of Helena Hutchins, who spoke several months ago with uh, Arahota Kotpe, in which he laid out frustration over Alec Baldwin shifting responsibility onto these different crew members here, saying that ultimately he does bear responsibility, that he was the one who had the firearm. There was a crew member in the days before this shooting incident in October of 2021 who actually resigned from the crew, writing in an email to several producers that they played fast and loose with uh, following proper protocols and even mentioned concern about the lack of gun safety training here. Uh, this is a tragic incident that will now play out uh, in the court of law, Lindsay.